buenos dias amigos amigas from beautiful Chapala again I just had breakfast and then went for a short walk on the Melkin and I'm right down the street and you can see the restaurants here beautiful murals and uh, here's a wonderful restaurant here I haven't been here yet but it is fine dining here is fine dining right here in Chapala. And that is quite a place. Now, I've also done a lot of videos around here. And this mural is picturesque. This house, the colors, just the beautiful colors of this home. Now, there are apartments in there. And expats live there. And uh, there's apartments sprinkled all around this area. Uh, and expats living sprinkled all through different parts of the town of Chapala. And you're going to notice that there's also, it's very wheelchair accessible. And we are now in a combination of a residential, and I'm going to let these ladies go by, and combination of a residential and some businesses and small businesses here. But a beautiful town of Chapala. Now, some friends of mine recently moved from Ahihik and they rented a home just down the street from here. So, uh, I've already been in it. It's amazing. And uh, it's just beautiful. Uh, anyway, um, very nice. And look at the many colors that uh, Mexico offers, no matter where you go in Mexico. You're gonna see it's many colors. It's not such a drabby uh, shade of brown and tans and grays like there is up in the U.S. And I, and that's what I find in many many places in the U.S. Mexico is more colorful, more colorful. Now this is a very smooth street, residential neighborhood, just a block off of. The main highway and that's where I'll be going in a minute you can see this this gentleman he has some talk I don't know what those things are exactly and uh, beautiful Mexican neighborhood these streets are smooth now there's cobblestones but they resurfaced the roads and they resurfaced them and I'll show you uh, to make them smoother and uh, you're gonna find beautiful the town of Chapala is beautiful now they're resurfacing once again and you can see very handicapped accessible here and here is a cobblestone street uh, excuse me I tilted the camera down a little bit I apologize here now here's these tiendas they're all over Mexico and they're mom-and-pop stores and then there's there's dining outdoors Good traditional, authentic Mexican restaurants here. And here's another tienda, another neighborhood store. Here's a pharmacy here. And this is wonderful. Okay. Beautiful murals you're going to see here in the town of Chapala and all over the lakeside towns. Just look at these murals. Beautiful. Okay, just appears it might be a Catholic school. Oh, by the way, let's check the church out. There's a beautiful church here, small church, Ecclesia, here. And uh, as I walked by here many times before, and you can see the benches outside, the church, one of the smaller ones, and uh, Ecclesia, it's an Ecclesia. Now, more stores here you can shop at get cleaning supplies you really don't have to go very far to get things you need you can walk and we take buses here you go fresh chicken right there fresh chicken right there very nice place okay now tacos here, 
Wine and liquors right here. Wine and liquor right there. So I'm gonna cut this video. I may go just a little bit more. Let's go a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go up here. You can always get bread, whatever you need, just in walking distance. You don't have to get in your car, get in touch with these small markets and you'll just, you'll, you'll be getting to embrace this Mexico community, these Mexican communities. Um, and uh, let me see. Now, I haven't been up here yet. Let's go up here. Now, this cobblestone road is going to be a little bit. Uh, go slow. That's all. Best thing to do is go slow. And uh, you got to get to know the roads. Now, I've been down here walking, driving. Um, I've even taken my e bike to Chapala. And I want to show you something. We're not far from Francisco Matera Avenue, which is the main highway going through Chapala up toward the highway going to Guadalajara. Now look at this magnet, these magnificent colors here. And I'm going to stop. Lady's got her son. And uh, it's always good to stop in the I always stop in the intersections. Um, I always do. I don't run through them. Okay. Here's some murals of some men here. And here is Capel store. I've seen these in other cities that I've been in in Mexico, many of the other cities. I think the first time I saw one was, I can't remember if there's one in Cuernavaca or not, but I know there's one in San Miguel de Allende. There's, I believe, in Oaxaca City when I was there. These are department stores. Um, and I shop here. Let me, okay. And I shop here quite a bit. Uh, whenever I'm in Mexico, I run into these stores, the department stores. They have clothes. Um, department stores, it's kind of like a Sears. It's almost like a Sears. Now, let's take a ride this way and taxis are plentiful here and I gotta kind of keep moving go with the flow and you'll see there's no congestion here and it's still morning no gridlock here whatsoever and the way they have done these roads this is relatively new and I cover this in other videos now I use the ATM over there and I shop here I uh, it's one of the ATMs we use in Mexico and the lakeside area all over. Um, and here's a soccer field over here. It's a beautiful, beautiful town. Now, we're in North Chapala on Francisco Madera Avenue. You can see four-wheelers. Let me catch up here. And I got to go right around the corner. But I'm going to stop this video. And I want to say thanks for viewing. Tap on that notification bell. You'll be notified of upcoming videos. I'm in beautiful Chapala, the town of Chapala. Go straight ahead. You'll get on the highway soon. You'll take it right to Guadalajara. Easy to get to. Adios, amigos.